title credit sequences. Let's start at the beginning. Literally, the beginning of movies. Engaging or wild, funny, exhilarating, drop dead beautiful, stylish or sophisticated, puts the audience right in the mood. The title and credit sequence. Now, you know, it's funny because title and credit sequences, uh, people used to walk out right as the crawl begins at the end. And we're actually talking about the beginning of this stuff, but ever since Marvel keeps putting little Easter eggs and nuggets inside of, uh, you know, at the end of the credits and stuff like that, people stay tuned for all that stuff. But what we're talking about, the very beginnings right now, and the very beginnings of title sequences uh, are pretty important, pretty significant. The very best title sequences uh, not, only, not only succeed in putting the audience in the right mood, right frame of mind for the movie, but they transcend their proper function, which is basically to identify what you're watching, um, and venture off into the realm of something far deeper, far greater, and become basically an art form um, in and of themselves. At first, movie titles were simply hand-illustrated cards, just photographed and inserted into the film. And today they are much more like a mini-movie showcasing the art of, of graphic design and filmmaking. You know, film titles serve a number of purposes, besides introducing the title of the work, of course, and perhaps the main players or actors that brought it to screen. Um, they nurture audiences' expectations. Um, they evoke the film's overall mood and set up the story. These are really old ones, Buster Keaton, Metropolis. Um, film titles are indeed the primary impression an audience has of the film. <clears throat> and, you know, for ease of production and clarity, letters were simple. They were easy to read, white on black. You know, illustrators use monostroke letter farms or characters, small serifs, that kind of a thing. Um, more illustrative film title cards were inspired by and reflective of the various art and design movements of the era, such as uh, Expressionism, Art Nouveau, Art Deco. You know, way back in the day, they used to just project the name of the movie right on the curtains in, uh, before they even pulled the curtains back. So we've come a long way since then. King Kong, uh, beautiful Art Deco, um, you know, font and... and um, elements back there, graphic design elements. The original title card for King Kong right here was an obvious example of Art Deco, a point that Peter Jackson's 2005 version was sure to tap into. Thank <laughs> you. 